Welcome to the Sage Pasta Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to process supplier documents and bring in stock using a goods received note. A goods received note is used when you have purchased goods from the supplier and these goods have been delivered, but you have not yet received the supplier invoice. You may need to bring these goods into the system without affecting the supplier. You would then use a goods received note. However, please note that you can only make use of goods received note to affect quantities in the system if you are using Sage Pastel Partner. Unfortunately, this feature is not available if you are using Sage Pastel Express. Firstly, open your Sage Pastel Partner program and open your company database. You will then need to go to Setup, Suppliers, Control. Enter your supervisor password and on the configuration tab, you will see the option Goods Received Note. You can set this to mandatory, which means that you will always need to use a Goods Received Note to bring in the stock, or never. Because we are going to bring in stock using a Goods Received Note, we will set this to mandatory and click on OK. You will then need to go to Process, Suppliers. The Process Suppliers processing screen will display. Where you see document type, click the drop down and select Goods Received Note. You will then need to select a supplier. Select your supplier and tab until you get to the period and date. When you get to the date, click the drop down and select the period or date that you wish to use in order to bring in the stock. Once you have selected your date, ensure that your period is adjusted accordingly. If you receive the message, date, out of period, please click the period and select the period that you wish to use. This will then change accordingly in order to be in line with what you have set up in setup periods. You will then need to input the order number. This is the number that the supplier would have given you or the number that you gave them when processing a purchase order. You can also leave this as blank. If you are given a discount, you can enter the discount in the discount percentage. You can then tab to where you see type. This should always be set to for item code. Tab until you get to code and click on the magnifying glass. Your inventory list will display where you can select the item. You will then need to enter the quantity that you are bringing in, as well as the tax type you are using and the exclusive or, if you are using inclusive, inclusive cost of the item. You will need to do this for each and every item that you are bringing into stock. Once you have filled in the document accordingly, you will then need to click on Next Document. Please note that Goods Received Notes update on completion of documents. This means the moment you either print the document or click on Next, the document will update to your general ledger accounts. Now, a goods received note automatically affects the quantities of your items, which means that it will write your inventory control account. The other leg of the transaction will go into a holding account called the GRN accrual account. This account will hold the value until such time as you process the supplier invoice. Click on next, and you will be asked if you wish to print email or print and email. Make your selection and click on OK. The document will then be updated. You will need to edit the document. Click on close and then once you receive the supplier invoice, you can now go to process, suppliers, supplier invoice. Select the supplier again and you will be told that there are outstanding goods received notes for the supplier. Do you want to link now? Click on yes, and where you see number, click on the magnifying glass. You will then see the outstanding goods received note. Click on the goods received note and press tab. You will now be able to select the quantity that was delivered. If the full quantity was delivered, you can use as is. If the full quantity was not delivered, you can then change the quantity accordingly. Please note, you cannot go over the original quantity. 
So if, for example, you received 15 of the item, but you only put 10 on the goods received note, you will then need to process another goods received note to bring in the additional five. If, for example, an item was not received, you would untick on the selected. Fill in or select the items and the quantities to use from the goods received note and click on link. It will then pull the goods received note into the supplier invoice. You will then need to again double check your period and date. So if for example the goods received note was created in April and on the 1st of April, you can either use a goods received note date or if you only receive the supplier invoice on say the 28th of April, you can change the date or the period accordingly. Again, please ensure that the period and date are in alignment. Should you receive the warning, date out of period, this means that the date falls outside of the period parameters as set up under the setup periods, and you will need to go and alter the period to select the correct period that the date falls under. When you get to supplier invoice, a supplier invoice number cannot be blank. This is the invoice number on the document that the supplier is given to you. You will then fill in this invoice number accordingly and then you can make changes to your document. Please note that the quantity will be greyed out as this is now linked to the goods received note. However, if the price changed, you can change the price accordingly. You can also use a supplier invoice to process to general ledger codes. So if you do not make use of inventory, you would use 6GL code. You would then click on the magnifying glass and again, navigate to the correct account number. Once you have selected the account number, you should be able to change the description. For example, to consulting. The quantity will be greyed out. The reason for this is because you are processing to a general ledger account and you cannot sell 10 general ledger accounts. Therefore, you will need to enter the total value that you have had to pay to the supplier. For example, 1,500 Rand. You can also use your supplier invoices in order to process things like your accounting fees. Once you have filled in the document accordingly, you would then click on Next Document. If you click on Next Document, it'll ask you if you wish to print, email or print an email. Make your selection accordingly. You will see that the document has now been batched or updated. If you selected the option under your setup menu to update documents on completion of document, the document would have updated to the general ledger automatically. If, however, you selected batch mode, this means that if you go to number and click on the magnifying glass, you will see all of your documents listed. You can then still open the documents and edit them accordingly if there are any errors. In order to update the documents that are batched to the general ledger account, you would need to go to batch update. Again, if you did not print or email, your document, you will be asked if you wish to print, email or print and email. Make your selection accordingly. Should you receive a message that one of the documents has not been printed and do you wish to print them, you can click on yes or you can click on no. If you click on no, there will be no printout. You will then be asked to update the batch. You can make a backup before updating. If you select the option to backup before updating, the file backup screen will display asking you where you wish to make the backup and to select the folder to backup to. Make your selection and click on process. Once the backup is complete, you will be advised that the backup needs to be tested. Click on OK and then click on close. The document will then be updated. If you then go to number and click on the magnifying you will receive the message that there are no records found. What will happen when the document is updated if you are using a good received note is that the GRN accrual account, which is a holding account, will now be cleared and the value will be posted onto your supplier account.